So good day, everyone. Today I'd like to talk about how to meditate and learning to meditate. And in particular, just uh, what the approach is and attitude is. A lot of people meditate in different ways today, but I feel like the basics are always important. And I know that maybe some of you have never meditated. Uh, some of you um, have an experienced practice. You've been meditating regularly. Uh, but in either case, it's always good to go back to the basics and to understand what the principles are. What I always try to encourage is, is that we really know why we're meditating. That's always important. And the reasons why we're meditating. So that's something that you have to think about. Uh, it could be just uh, simply needing some uh, relaxation, some uh, stress reduction piece. Could be all the way up to, you know, we want to attain enlightenment and we'd like to follow in the footsteps of the Buddha and have tremendous wisdom and compassion. But in either way, uh, learning how to meditate is important. And obviously today we can go through some very basic principles. Certainly uh, at home and, and where you are, that it would be good to have somebody who's experienced that shows you personally what to do. You can learn a lot from books. But the view is what I like to call it. The attitude, knowing what we're doing. Meditation really is an interesting word. It means familiarity. And in Tibetan we say gom. And the word really has its root in a word meaning of being familiar with or getting used to something. So in the English language we have a lot of different expressions for many things, but for meditation, it seems like we only have one basic word, meditation. In Tibetan, we have many, many different words for meditation. So when we use the word meditation in English, uh, I'm not sure what you think. For myself, it means familiarity. So I always think that in a sense, we're always meditating, uh, meaning we're always getting familiar. Our mind is getting used to something. So we may be getting used to thought of anxiety, worrying, anger, so our mind is getting used to something. So in a sense, we're meditating. But here we're saying we're going to get used to something and to do something, familiarize our mind with something that's helpful. So that's view. That's why we're doing it. So here today, we're saying what would be a very basic, something that's helpful to everyone, is learning how to reduce the level of anxiety, stress, uh, calm our mind. And more importantly, I think in the beginning, what is the most helpful in terms of meditating and getting how to meditate is making our mind useful to us, possessing our mind. So here, the basic approach of meditation is that we do something that allows our mind not to wander, not to be distracted. Conventionally speaking, many of us are thinking about a lot of things. And if we think about our mind, our mind is not always the most useful, most sort of in tune, a lot of times we sit down and our mind wanders off. So the practice of meditation here is learning how to get familiar with something, get used to something that is helpful. So for most of us in the beginning, no matter what we're doing, is having the mind uh, cooperate, making our mind ours. And really as human beings, if our mind is ours, it should be able to sit quietly, enjoy the weather, enjoy what we're doing, instead of thinking about the future worrying about our problem. Just our mind darts off here and there. So I'm going to demonstrate a little bit, and uh, certainly you can do it as well, that the process of meditation. And we can sit. I'm sitting in a chair. You can sit on a cushion. You may be sitting at your desk. Either way, it's fine. So the view and the attitude is, why am I meditating? Because it is the mind that's meditating. It is our attitude. It's ourselves. Meditation by just posture is not going to work. The attitude is important. So we think maybe here today it's just breathing, slowing down, stress reduction, bringing a sense of peace, being present is very helpful. And from there, we can lead our life. So let's um, sit comfortably. And we can put our body in a posture that is awake. So we're not you know, falling asleep. Uh, we're not too anxious by standing up. Our hands can be on our thighs. Our mind is thinking about, oh, I'm about to meditate, so I'm not going to worry about other things right now. I'm going to bring it back to what's important. 
And what's really important is the present moment and what signifies the present moment, our breathing. So here, in a very basic way, we're going to learn how to meditate by breathing. Breathing makes us realize how fragile we are, how human we are, and how precious things are. Body in a decent posture, head relaxed, gaze is slightly down, eyes slightly open. So we sit like this. Some people like to sit like this, but here let's just sit like this. And begin to pay attention to our breathing. So we are breathing out and in, out and in. And as we take our mind from a busy world, put it on the breathing, automatically we slow down, automatically we strengthen our mind, automatically our mind becomes more useful, more ours. The mind is paying attention to the breathing. We're not thinking about the future or the past or worrying. This is our little break. This is our little relaxation. This is our mini holiday. We're beginning to pay attention to the mind. Just like the body, just like the body needs exercise and good food, the mind needs to be taken care of. Now we're doing that. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. When thoughts come, we say, oh, I shouldn't be thinking right now because I don't want to be thinking about that. I want to be paying attention to my breathing because I know that's helpful. This is what I want to be doing. So just bring some calmness and feel the peace and the relaxation. Simply breathing, thought comes up, say, oh, I'm thinking, right now I don't want to be thinking about that, pay attention to the breathing, and we feel some peace. So why don't you try that, and good luck with it.